and we're off to Suzuki and we start with getting this the Suzuki Skywave SS otherwise known as the Suzuki Bergman facelift I used to think it is it doesn't look like a facelift maybe it's a sportier model who knows I don't ride scooters anymore pearl glass white we'll have it in as usual awesome ring for the scooters and that was my chair because I'd like to sit up while I do these. Let's do it! We're up against a Honda Forza. Go, Scooter Man! Brake! Come on, Scooter! I'm four seconds behind the bloody Honda. Yes, stay away from the grass. I've caught up to it a little bit. Oh, hello. I've got it. And we did it. And a top speed of 69 miles an hour. No, I don't want to retry it. God damn it. I've got to stop doing that. Oh, I've got my lips. And our Suzuki Skywave is ours. Well, the SS model at least. I've already got a Skywave. Always known as the Bergman. Because of course. Well, come on then. There we are. And now to our proper bike. So we got a, G a Jigsaw 400. One of my mates owned one of these. And he bought it, he bought it for 500 pounds. And all you had to do to get it running smoother again was add some RD fuel fuel op oxi oxidizer optimizer. I think I think that's what it was called. This would be the last of the small of the small but mighty jixes. A wall. Whoa! Talk about cut. Talk about cutting straight in front. There we are. And that's how you do it. Delicious tea. Anyway, that's that. Okay, so. Fly, get off my screen. Go away. Please continue staying away from my screen, Fly. Anyway, that's our Jigsaw 400. Not the prettiest looking bike ever, I'll be honest. It kind of looks like a, a modern day Peugeot. Well... A Monday Persia from 10 years ago. Ah, the original Katana. This is a final edition until they made another Katana. Which, uh, spoiler alert, it's rubbish. Cut that. Take two. Unfortunately, unleashed handling. The Katana was supposed to be supposed to be a reference to knife edge handling which if any owner of a katana would tell you they always had good handling one of the biggest problems with the katana however was that it was just that it was just a handling bike it had nothing else in mind it had no sp it didn't have much of a top speed and it it really didn't have much in the way of anything else 
Come on, Katana. Use that knife edge handling to your advantage, and I'm, and I'm scratching the exhaust. Okay, get in the slipstream. That's it. Pass the other katana. Don't hit that. Hold it in, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And I made it. Nice. And that is our katana. Show me the katana. Show me the katana. There we are. You have a good birthday then, dude. Anyway, that's the 1100S katana. Not the greatest bike ever made. Although there were big fans of it. At least the older models. Now look what we got. Anyway, let's begin. Let's carry on. We got a Jixa 600. Oh, that's a burp. Here we go. Get off the grass. Get off the grass. Take two. Bike loved the grass and wanted to stay on it. Told it many times no and it just stayed on it anyway. Very disobedient bike. Bike designed to compete with the R6 and the and the 600 double R. Oh yeah, wheelie. This fly is annoying me, and it tried to land in my tee. Oh, it's going up against Daytona, nice. Right, that is our Jixa. Good day to you, Danny, with that rhino nut. I'm sure he'll be pleased to see it. If he ever comes in here. Anyway, let's begin. Let's go into the big favorite of the Jixa lineup, the 750, which provides power and great affordability. Hello, Daniel. Take two. Come on then. I think it has the same soundtrack as GT4, Daniel. Well, I'll have to check it out soon. Anyway, I've just got past it. Now let's stay in front. And I stayed in front. Let me check. Go for it. Right, that's our Jixa 750. The favorite, because it's cheap. It's cheaper than a thousand, but nearly as fast. It's sought after now because they don't make them anymore, which is sad. And there we are. Next. Next. There we go. 
The RG500 Gamma. Now, this thing's a blast from the bleem past. And we're going up against NSR 400. Yeah, I, wa I watched it, Daniel. That was probably the best race in F1 I've, I've ever seen in years. And it's Torosso's Torosso's best result in ages. Want to watch the curbs? Definitely. Come on, you. Two stroke washing machine. I don't know why this is a higher license bracket than the uh, the Jixxers. Did you hear about the Alpha? Alpha got penalties? Why? Why did they get penalties? Ooh. 30 second time penalties for what? What did they do? There we go. Something about the start. I think what I think both jumped the start. Oh, hey. Oh, I've come off. Right, that is ours. The first Suzuki two-stroke we now own. Show me the bikey. In its square headlamped goodness. Now for the Jigs of uh, the GSX fourteen hundred S. Both Alphas got the penalties. Take free. What well, to design next year's car? I mean, we've got a big aero package coming. Also, oh, they're designing next year's car. Why can't they have the big, big, fast bikes around here? And not big, heavy beasts of burden like this. Off the gravel. Cool. Oh, of course it'll be good. It'll finally make Williams more competitive again. They're most competitive since 2015, in fact. Oh, I've got you now. Bye. Thank Christ. I don't ever need to do that again.
Um. Oh dear. That's a big oh dear. Rocket hasn't benefited from anything. And because Rocket's not very well known at all, it means um, Williams is going to be finished. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad Williams is going to stick around, but good lord, they are strapped for cash. Anyway, Hayabusa, the fastest bike in the world. Sean, the moniker says 1300R. But actually, this is a big, comfy sports cruiser. Stay off the ground. Stay away from the walls while leaning. Ugh. I think Williams are keeping up. Yeah, that's not a surprise. They, they, I mean, Williams is kind of becoming a developmental team anyway. Oh, hey, it's a high abuser. Yep. It's a big, big high abuser. It's off me. Oh, what's the wall? Wheelie? Oh, I can't wheelie. Right, that's the Hayabusa. I think at this point, Mercedes... I think Mercedes have two developmental teams in F1. I think... It's Williams, then it's Racing Point, then it's Mercedes. Because if you think about it, Esteban came from Williams... No, Esteban didn't come from Williams, did he? Oh, from Williams? I know he was in Force India. Nicholas Latifi. I've heard good things about Nicholas Latifi. Right, let's bring on the big boy. The Jigsaw 1000. Take three. Can I not die this time? Seriously? Tied for his 110th Grand Prix with Force India Racing Point. Big F. Wasn't Stroll with Wasn't Stroll with Williams in 2017? Or am I thinking of someone else? Back when Williams was good. Yeah, but still, Lance Stroll's not the best driver in the world. Makes such odd choices. We need to celebrate. Oh, I would still argue that Williams were at their best in modern day F1 in 2015.
Because if you think about it, they were properly competing then. Properly. And now, ha and also, Haas needs a new sponsor. His voice engine broke. Yeah. Unfortunately. Right, now for the. Oh, Dixa 400R Racing Modify around Twin Ring Batigi. This is a track we haven't been on yet. I think. Well, come on then. Here we go. We're going up against the GPZ 400R. I remember Toro Rosso, Daniel. Oi. <laughs> well, it's a breath. This this is a breath of fresh air compared to the rather status quo of getting bikes. He got himself his first ever podium, yeah. And he's a new and he's a new dad. Not his first. Oh, that's right, it was he was with Red Bull before. Was he was with Red Bull before until he caused a tad too many problems. Listen, I lost interest in F1 in 2015. Gotcha. Come on, wheelie! Wheelie! Oh. Well, he got his best result ever along with, with Toro Rosso. Which kind of proves he's still got he's still got some skill. Maybe he'll be called back up when they pull back Gasly. Because my God, Gasly is he's had some unfortunate problems, but good lord. Which is the same race where Mountain has three penalties. Good God. All right, we're on the expert stuff now, which means RG500 Racing Modify around Awesome Ring. Hmm. Well, come on then. Oh, hey, it's Audi TT. Oh, wait. Hey, fanboy. That's one. Speeding in the pit lane and over overtook the safety car. Man, Maldonado was not very good. Was not smart. I know. I knew he crashed a ridiculous amount. He did have some skill, but he was dumb. I am doing very well, sir. Bloody kernel stuck in my teeth. Popcorn kernel. Just another day for Maldonado. And there we are. Good evening, Remain. How are you? Yep, delicious tea. That's our racing modified. Now for Jigsaw Racing Modified around Suzuka. 
I'm doing very well, thank you very much. Don't tea and ride. Tea and ride. Take two. The bike decided to drift. Got seventh with race one and then sixth with race two. Well then. You did well for bar first. Right, got the Honda. Time to get the Yamaha. Well, I, well, I could have gotten fifth. Oh, no. Here we go. Got you on the inside, boy. Ah, bugger. Uh, stay away. Wheelie! Well controlled by the AI. Oh no. Oh no, you clip the wall. Come on. Load. There we are. Our Jigsaw 600 Racing Modified. You got passed by Emil. Emil caught up at work as well. Emil. Net oh god, not this thing again. Yeah, of course we're on Fuji. I hate the big, big. I hope I hate the big engine cruises because oh my god, they don't have brakes. They're heavy and they have small brakes. Yesterday, my twenty-second, my twenty-second birthday went very great. Noise. Good to hear you had a very great birthday. Emil did an off track. It's not a breaky bikey. No, it's not. Get off the grass. Today will be, my, will be my day off before going to vacations. Ooh, where are you going? Off the grass, gravel. Get off the grass. You're currently in seventh. You'll be staying at home. Well then. Oh, that's right. School's over, isn't it? Which means, thank God, less traffic to deal with getting, getting to work. Right, let's get a Super Bowl. Let's get the Super, Super Bowl something. But there's a racetrack nearby. Ooh. A racetrack, you say? Right, what's the top speed? On the last corner of the last lap. Nice. This thing can do 183. Right, come here, you. Sit. Got him. I'm, some, I'm somewhat a clean racer. Oh, yes. 
And now for the final Zuki. The FM7 can get clean laps and dirty laps. I know, like in every race game. Also, I'm trying to figure out how to get rid of the lag on XSplit. So I won't need to use the television anymore. Because the sound goes right through it. So I need to figure out how to fix it. Oh, my leg itches. Alright, now for our final bite. The Jigsaw 1000 R. Many times champion at World Superbikes. Many times champion at British Superbikes. You lose a point. Well then. Wheelie. Concentrate around Valencia. I'm the only person who hasn't lost a point so f as far as I know. Right, here comes the kink. Really gotta be careful here. seconds ago crossing the bridge Mueller passed Mueller passed me on the outside of, at the top of the mountain God that's brave you sure he didn't die oh, I wanted to wheelie and now we're on a break. Well then. Right, that is all the Suzuki's obtained. Thank Christ, I don't need to do any more of the, of the Japanese manufacturers. <laughs>